I decided that the day that I understood that I'm going to be a reporter, I want to be where things happen. But it took me years that I understood that our real job is not just to cover demonstrations or press conference, but it's to go to the places that nobody wants us to go to. To go to the places which are dark and hidden and light a torch or a candle and make sure that people see. I've been married to the same wife for 63 years. I've been an admirer of the Weizmann for 75 years. I believe strongly that the quality of the work that the Weizmann does it helps to progress life. My motivation for my involvement in the nonprofit sector is frankly just curiosity and a little bit of a desire to solve problems. Because the nonprofits that I've been involved in, ranging from environmental outfits to women's rights to global peace, these are universals that everyone ought to be interested in. For these last, uh, I would say, 45 years, uh, I've been studying the foundations of computing. This is uh, an area between computer science and mathematics. When you are doing something you love, uh, you know, what can be better? For me, the concept of life is to live and to do good. We have the obligation to make peace between humanity. If there is war, because there is ignorance. And I hope, I wish, and I pray that good things happen in my life or in the life after the people who come after me. I moved to the Netherlands in 1982. Uh, for love. I met my husband. My husband and I have a love of contemporary art. We do a lot of educational uh, projects with art. We have a residency of which education is a very, very strong um, aspect because I feel that it's so important to educate the next generation. One of the golden rules of show business, I guess, is to, to perform, I guess, to try to put out quality music. And if you stick around long enough, there'll be enough generations to they'll hear you. I've had people come to me today in you know, my own performance and, and say, you know, uh, I learned Hebrew through your music. And, uh, and I find that just, uh, I get very emotional hearing that. I've had a long career now, and many times I've been involved in the National Academy of Sciences and then National Academy of Medicine, AAAS, all these organizations that operate internationally are sources for bringing nations, and not just individuals, together. And I'm proud of that work and privileged to have had many opportunities. The Weizmann Institute is obviously a center for excellence uh, in research in, in, uh, in many topics, in particular in math and computer science. I visited them many times. I have many close colleagues in uh, the Weizmann Institute. I love going there. It's also a beautiful place to visit. There's a feeling that you have that you cannot put into words when you're on the campus, when you're walking around the campus, when you're talking to the people. And as much as I would love to describe those feelings and words, it's in my heart, and I'm not sure if I have words for it. Immense amount of breakthroughs, huge think tank that produces incredible, you know, and giant leaps for mankind. The biggest recognition that the Weizmann can give me is the day that Moshe or Isaac say we have discovered something. We have found something new in the benefit of humanity. That means I have fulfilled the purpose. At the end, we need to be human, all of us. We need to be brothers, united, and pray for peace, pray for wisdom, pray for science to, blo to blossom totally. The Weizmann is a, an institution that stands by itself in its own excellence. And the fact that Israel and Weizmann is able to carry this off uh, in a dangerous neighborhood in the world is pretty stunning. And so I think it's really important for all of us in the world to support places like the Weizmann because they represent the last best hope. The Weizmann is able to sustain and has sustained itself to keep up the scientific mission to connect increasingly with the medical mission, spectacular record, and of course a great need for Israel and for the world that Westminster is fulfilling, even in these times. 
I've always looked at it from the side as a lighthouse of excellence, like the Israel that we would like to have, the one in which people and achievements are judged on merit, and that excellence is the most important thing.